One week it's a squeaky toy, the other week it's a kissy face, and this week Hooch is just a big, smelly, stinky dog. Hooch's story wasn't as compelling as it usually is, but it sure came along with some good humor. Hi fellow Disney Plus watchers, this is Thoughts after a Disney Plus watch, where we review everything new Disney Plus coming out, and I'm glad you are watching. This is the channel that's specifically about movies, shows, and all that's Disney Plus original stuff. So just a fair warning here before we start, I do want to discuss spoilers to really do this episode justice, so you can press that watch later button if you haven't seen this yet. Still here? Well, let's do it. This episode starts out with Scott finding an excuse to talk to Brooke. He brings files that he could just as well email to her and he proposes to have dinner with her at this French restaurant. So it's a date and later on Scott talks to Xavier about why he picked this French restaurant, revealing that the stakes are pretty high for him to get onto this date because this restaurant is the exact one where his last date with Brooke years ago went pretty wrong and was one of the reasons they didn't stay in contact. So he really wants to prove himself again. I like that the episode added a backstory like this because it raises the personal stakes for Scott to make it in time. But of course, Scott's goal is completely challenged by his work because he and Xavier stumble upon this case of a money launderer that escapes just before they get him, resulting in the two having to look for him and ask around in town. This is the first time within the show I consciously saw part of the conclusion coming, where this lady from the art shop was acting all suspicious, so I feel like the creators of the show didn't really want to hide this one, but okay. I feel like this show is not about the cases itself, it's about the character's journey and everything that is not working because of this US Marshall case happening. I once again like about this show and this episode that we also follow Laura and her whole quest to crack her dad's old case. And small details like her also having to search around town and even walk into coffee shops and stores like that's exactly what Scott and Xavier are doing in this episode. So I like that the two running storylines often have something to do with each other in that respect. I also talked about this last week with episode 4 where that was handled beautifully. Where Laura kind of goes through the same struggles as Scott but in a completely different storyline. But that's... that. You can watch that one if you want to hear my more in-depth analysis on that. This episode is not one of my favorites. Despite nailing once again the characters and humor, it's still a good episode, just not as thoughtful and as well put together as previous ones. This show has a tendency to really have great arcs and payoffs hidden in the details. This episode doesn't really work like that, and it actually brings in some stuff I don't know I care about all that much. Like this old classmate from Laura, them reconnecting, and this whole deal about she got teased at school and Laura didn't do anything about about it, making her feel guilty. Why and what was that all about? It's not bad, but I felt like it was an extra add-on thing that didn't really make Laura's character any richer, to be honest. Yes, we do see her, uh, this daughter of the suspect, I can't remember her name, sorry, stand up for herself in the end when she proudly admits to her boss, I quit. And I guess the whole deal that she was teased and picked upon in school was building up to this moment so that she could stand up for herself, you know? But I feel like this whole thing was pointless for Laura's character. The episode went on for a little too long for my taste, like the mission that once again isn't that exciting on its own, was taken care of and I checked the episode runs for another 8 minutes and I felt it dragged on a little too long. I really liked the whole hooch sprayed by a skunk and everyone advising Scott, you thought about giving him a tomato bath? And slowly but surely Scott already filling in the words, yeah yeah tomato bath, tomato bath. <laughs> It was, it was funny. And what was even funnier, and one of the high points of this episode, this bloodbath scene where both of them are covered in tomato juice, it got a laugh out of me. By the way, just on a side note, after a little bit of research, I think I know why the tomato juice didn't work in the episode. I did some research and it might be a bit of a myth. According to this article on spruce.com, I quote, If you ask most people how to get rid of skunk smell, the answer you'll probably receive most often is to take a bath in tomato juice. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work. According to Chemistry of Skunk Spray by William F. Wood, tomato juice seems to work because at high doses of skunk spray, the human nose quits smelling the odor and the tomato juice odor is instead detected. And that's called olfactory fatigue. When this happens, the odor of tomato juice can easily be detected. So the too long didn't read version of this is tomato juice just covers up the smell temporarily, according to this article. I really like that we get another hint at the end that the love triangle between Scott, Brooke and Erica will sure get a lot more complicated. I don't think this ending was as clever as the one we got last week, where we see Hooch look the other way at Erica, secretly establishing that Scott's more into Erica subconsciously. But once again, check my previous review for more in-depth analysis. This episode was fun. It got stakes for Scott trying to make it to the date in time. It got some good Xavier moments where he once again is trying to learn Scott that, hey, things go as they go and you just, you just gotta ride the 
wave, man. And him continually changing the subject to his wedding plans during investigation. These characters are so different that they really work together. And you know, their humor and back and forth is really enjoyable. Scott realizing, I gotta check more bags. Referring to the opening scene of this episode where Laura is looking through the trash of this suspect. Nice little touch. The way Scott says, you know that was Hooch, right? After Hooch farted at the office, both having a funny moment and a little foreshadowing on what's to come. A very smelly Hooch throughout this episode. In the end, lots to like. Nothing I particularly loved or found really clever like the previous episodes. There's not much more to say actually. I still love the show. After last week's episode 4, I remember feeling ecstatic. Right now, I'm not. It's a cute episode with a bit of a lackluster ending. I really dig the returning theme of the running joke around Hooch being the big crime solver at the end and that was not present here. He was just after the money. You know, fine episode, nothing particularly wrong with it. Overall, I am loving this show. I'm thinking about wrapping this up. Thank you so much for watching. I'm curious, what did you think of this episode? Be sure to let me know in the comment section. Don't forget, if you enjoy the idea of discussing Disney Plus content with us, that red button looks familiar, right? And if you're interested in thoughts on previous episodes, it's all in the description or you can browse the channel page. Did you like this video? Then be sure to consider giving that a click. Thanks. For now, have a wonderful day and see ya.